Faith and this video is going to show how to do a back carry with a Tibetan finish in an Obi Mama Mei Tai. This is a welterweight Mei Tai and my baby is five and a half months old. This is a short stage one. So the first thing I'm going to do is tie on the waist straps and I like to do it around my rib cage so that it keeps my baby nice and high. So I am just going to go ahead and tie the waist straps around my rib cage nice and tight, nice square knot and it'll help keep them high. Really snug. And so as you can see, the panel is just hanging down and back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my baby. He is playing safely on the floor. And this is Judah. I'm gonna go ahead and get him on my back. I'll just do a quick Superman. And then once I have him on my back, I'm gonna hold his wrists in front of me so that way he, um, he'll be safe and secure. He's not going to go anywhere while I pull the panel up. Or you can also hold their bottom. So I'm going to pull the panel up between his legs. So I want to sort of get him into a seated position with his legs to the sides and pull the panel up between. And you always want to make sure that it clears your baby's bottom and that it comes up nice and high on their back before you stand up. And then as you stand up, and give a gentle little bounce to settle them into a nice deep seat. You can pull up on the knees sort of to make sure you get those knees higher than bum. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pin one side between my knees while I work from the other side. And I'm going to take, um, I like to do this with the passes spread over his back. So I take the inside rail and bring it under my arm to the back. And then I'm going to spread it over his back and bottom. Get it nice and snug, and bring it under his leg to the front. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the first half of my Tibetan. So with this side still pinned, I'm going to bring this underneath it, and I'm going to tuck it through the other ruck strap. So it was spread before it came under his leg, and I'm just going to make sure that it hasn't twisted at all. And I'm just sort of keeping it bunched, but without twisting. Pull it right through this strap, and again, it's evenly bunched and it's not twisted. So now I can go ahead and work from this side, and I'm going to take the inside rail again, bring it under my arm to the back, spread it over his back and bottom, make sure I don't catch his feet, and snug up both rails good, come under that leg to the front, and then I'll complete my Tibetan. If you're going to leave these passes over your chest bunched, I like to bring them up over my breast so that it's sort of neater looking. And again, this is not twisted at all. Now I'm gonna tie at the center of my chest with a nice square knot, nice and snug. And then if you like to leave them bunched, you're all set. If you wanna spread these passes, you just spread them down over your breasts. And if the sleep hood gets caught, then you can just sort of fix it afterwards. But there you have it. This is the back carry with a Tibetan finish in an Obi Mama Mei Tai. Thank you.